guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday, it's Monday so it is another meal prep. Boy oh boy, do I have three super exciting recipes for you today. I can't wait to share them with you. So if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. And of course, if you're new or you're watching and you're not subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you. Just hit the subscribe button and better yet, ring the bell next to it so you never miss a video, including meal preps, which happen every single Monday. Down in the description box, you're going to find my recipe website where you're going to find all three of today's recipes as well as my nutrition coaching website for personalized macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. A lot of you have ordered this service and have reached out and said that this is the most weight you've ever lost knowing your calories and macros. So I definitely recommend that as a must have service. You'll also find one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. So if you want a little bit more individualized support, I'd be honored to help you. You'll also find links, discount codes to all of my very favorite things. And of course my Facebook group, head on over and join us. It's a great community and you'll be in the know first on everything in my Facebook group. So head on over and join us. So we have a meal prep to do. I can't wait. I cannot wait for these three recipes. So let's start cooking. For breakfast this week, I'm making cinnamon roll overnight oats. I'm pretty excited about this. I love cinnamon anything. So for the overnight oats, you're going to need some 0% or some non-fat Greek yogurt. I prefer the Fa A, but you can really use any brand. Any type of nut milk, I'm using the original unsweetened almond milk from the Thrive Market. Thrive, of course, is linked down below with 25% off your first order and a free gift. Now that is a limited time promotion. So if you've been thinking about joining the Thrive Market, this is a fantastic time. So I'll make sure that that's linked down below for you. We're also going to need some raisins, cinnamon, vanilla extract, chia seeds, brown sugar alternative. This is the Sucrin Gold. I purchased this off of Nettrition, same website that I purchased Fiber Gourmet Pasta. I'll put that down below as well for you. You'll also need some salt rolled oats, and then of course, mason jars. This recipe makes four jars. So I pulled out four of my overnight oat jars. So let's make some oats. So we're actually going to make all of our overnight oats in one bowl, and then we'll just divide that out over the four mason jars. So first we're going to add our liquid. So I have one and a third cup of the almond milk. I have two thirds cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, and then we're going to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now for the dry ingredients. So I have a tablespoon here and I'm going to put in two tablespoons of brown sugar and I am going to pack those in. I'm also going to do two tablespoons of chia seeds, one cup of rolled oats, one quarter cup of raisins, about a teaspoon of cinnamon or more because I love cinnamon. And then we're also going to put in just a pinch of salt and then stir that until fully incorporated. So here is the overnight oat mixture. I'm going to pour it into this measuring cup. I think that's going to be the easiest way to transfer it into the jars. Now we're going to pour the overnight oat mixture equally into the mason jars and here is our breakfast ready to go. So I have four jars total of the overnight oats. It's going to fluff up once the oats and the chia seeds absorb all of the almond milk. So it should fill the jar probably about halfway full. So that's a good amount of overnight oats. It is five smart points on the blue and green plan per jar and only three on purple because you don't have to count for the rolled oats. 214 calories. My plan is to pair this with protein. So either eggs or he sausage or Canadian bacon or something to get in some added protein, but these really smell just like a cinnamon roll. So I can't wait.
For lunches this week, I'm making a Mexi Mac skillet. I'm pretty excited for this. I've been wanting a pasta dish for lunch. So for this recipe, you're going to need some pasta. I'm going to be using the Fiber Gourmet Light Rotini. You already know this is my favorite pasta. It's our household favorite. What I love about it is the taste and the texture, but even better, it is only 100 calories per two ounces dry versus 210 calories for regular pasta. It also contains 25 grams of fiber versus two grams, 17 net carbs versus 41, and a whopping seven grams of protein per serving. It is only two points on WW for an entire two ounces dry. Now traditional pasta is five to six points, so it's less than half. It tastes better than regular pasta and you're getting all of the fiber, protein, and you're saving a ton of calories and points. They have several shapes, rotini, penne, elbows, and linguine, which is their spaghetti noodle. I do purchase this off of Nettrition. Again, that'll be linked down below. It's the same place that I pick up the Sucrin Gold. So I'm going to be using the rotini. I'm using mixed vegetables. The recipe calls for frozen corn, but I only had veggies on hand, which is just fine with me. So I'm gonna use those. You're also going to need an onion, chili powder and oregano, a can of petite diced tomatoes and tomato sauce. I love the Thrive's tomato sauce. Again, as you know, Thrive is down below with a discount as well. One pound of 96% extra lean ground beef, light shredded cheese, and of course a little bit of salt. So let's make some lunch. Once your hamburger is browned, we're going to add in one cup of your vegetables, one half of a cup of water, a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, eight ounces of tomato sauce, chili powder, oregano, and salt, and then stir this together. Allow it to simmer on a boil for just a couple of minutes. Now we're going to add in our package of pasta. Stir that together. We're going to reduce the heat and then put a lid on this and allow it to cook until the pasta is tender. So I ended up having to add a cup and a half of water. There just wasn't enough liquid to cook the noodles completely, but now they are cooked through and we're going to top it with one half of a cup of light shredded cheese. And then I'll pop the lid back on and let the cheese melt. And there is our Mexi Max skillet. This looks so incredibly delicious. Let me transfer it over to the counter and we'll go over points, calories, and serving size. So this entire big pot of Mexi Mac makes four servings. It is six smart points per serving on the blue and purple plan and seven smart points on the green plan, just because you do have to count for the corn or mixed vegetables. It is 359 calories per serving. This is a perfect lunch or dinner because you have protein, carb, and veggie all in one. So this is going to be my lunch this week and I cannot wait to dig in. I thought I'd show you guys the servings. So I packaged up three servings in my large glass container, and this is a serving. So that is a lot of pasta for six or seven smart points. For dessert this week, I'm making cinnamon apple crisp pretty excited for this recipe. You're going to need some quick cook oats. You could also use regular oats. It just recommends using quick cook. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you'll need some cinnamon, lemon juice. You can use this type of lemon juice or a fresh lemon, cornstarch, honey, one little box of raisins, light butter, brown sugar alternative, again, sucre and gold, and then apples. I'm using the Autumn Glory because these are my favorite apples, and you're going to need about six medium apples. So these are pretty small, so I'll end up using seven or eight of those. So let's make dessert. So the first thing we're going to do is wash, peel, and slice our apples into about quarter inch thick slices. Here 
are our sliced up apples. Now we're going to add in the one small box of raisins. The recipe calls for about three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to put in closer to a tablespoon. One tablespoon of cornstarch. One teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. And one quarter cup of honey. And then we're going to stir this until everything is mixed really well. You need the apples to be fully covered in the cornstarch as well as the honey. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I have an eight by eight or a nine by nine baking dish. And then we're going to add the fruit mixture to the bottom of an ungreased baking dish. While the apples are in the oven, we're going to put together the crumb topping. So I have one cup of quick oats. I'm going to add three tablespoons of the brown sugar, the sucrine, not packed. An additional teaspoon or so of cinnamon. And then I have two and a half tablespoons of the light butter melted. Add that and then we're going to stir this all together. Set it aside, this is the crumb topping. I just pulled the apples out of the oven. We're going to sprinkle that topping right over the top. And then the recipe doesn't specify whether or not the foil goes back on. I am going to put it on for at least the majority of the rest of the baking time. And then I'll pull it off the last 10 minutes or so to get the crumble nice and crunchy. But this is going back into that 350 degree oven for about 60 minutes or until everything is cooked through. cinnamon apple crisp is out of the oven. My house couldn't smell more amazing. This smells good. This looks incredible. So let me give you the points, calories, and serving size. So cutting this pan into six equal servings is only four smart points on both the blue and green plan and three points on the purple plan. 141 calories for dessert. Top it with your favorite whipped cream or ice cream for a delicious decadent dessert for extremely low smart point and calorie. Thank you for joining me on another WW Weekly Meal Prep. I told you these three recipes are pretty amazing. I am so excited to dig into these all week. Again, all of my recipes are on my recipe website, which is down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, the meal planner, links and discount codes to all of my favorite things, including anything I used in this week's meal prep, as well as my Facebook group. Definitely join us there. You will not be sorry. It's such an amazing, wonderful, lovely, and supportive community. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed this week's meal prep. And of course, subscribe, ring the bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. Happy Monday, my friends. I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.